turning to national news now. Multiple fires in California raging. Thousands more evacuated from their homes. And utility companies, once again, they're shutting off power to more people in the hopes of preventing their equipment from causing wildfires. Yesterday, the company PG&E said one of the transmission lines failed just before the Kincaid fire started, but added that it's too early to jump to conclusions. Michelle Medina is in Santa Clarita, California. Pacific Gas and Electric says it's too soon to know whether its equipment started this wildfire in Northern California. Cal Fire, the experts in this will draw that ultimate conclusion. Fire crews are now doing what they can to limit the damage. There's almost nothing left of these homes in Geyserville. We absolutely are up against the clock, not only uh, with, with just the, the uh, continually drying fuel moistures, but the, the winds that are predicted over the next couple of days. 70 mile per hour winds have fueled the Kincaid fire. You could actually hear the wind coming down the canyon over my neighbors from here. It sounded like a rocket. It moved so quickly, it nearly trapped news crews in the area. I'm not getting stuck behind that. Multiple fires here in Southern California have also been fueled by these high winds. Officials are asking residents to heed evacuation orders. We cannot let our guard down. We are going to fight this aggressively. People scrambled to leave their homes as flames from the tick fire towered overhead. We just couldn't get here quick enough, unfortunately. Alejandra Corrales watched as her home burned to the ground. I see my bed frame and you're going, wow, I mean, you know, it's quite impactful. She and her daughter were able to save their animals. <laughs> Power companies are warning of more blackouts due to dangerous weather conditions. Nichelle Medina, CBS News, Santa Clarita, California.